In this lecture, we are going to look at 3D Mesh and then 3D Bar. So let's head over to 3D Mesh. Now, okay, let's let's use this data. Let's use this data. So we have X, Y, Z. Let's just select the first 20 and then head over to 3D Mesh. And you can plot your X, Y, Z triplet as we have. Or you can also plot just a Z column and then the x and y will be assumed or you can also choose x and y and the z will be assumed let's go with the triplet and we've already pre-selected this so it's already selected for us and let's head over to finish so we have this let's bring the agent up now we have something nice as this so this can be also edited by just double clicking and we can start with we can start with what we have already shown in the previous two lectures we can change the legend we can change the grid we can change the plane colors we can change the lines or we can add lines to it and change the thickness the colors of the borders uh, we can also rotate it around as we've already shown so that is also very useful the most important part for the mesh is just the section where we can choose different color schemes or different colors once you choose any one of these it changes to a single color and you wouldn't see the effect so you want to come to color scheme and you can choose whichever one that is in here and you can also change the order so let's go for let's say firehouse you can change the order in here and hit let's say okay and you have something like this and you can go for the gradient you can go for let's say discrete or gradient and you can change the line colors maybe blue change the thickness as well so that is for the mesh how you adjust it and the editing is just the same for all 3d but for mesh you see mesh in here and you can play along with it so let's go back let's just delete this one now you can also have 3d um, you can have 3d bar chart so we've already done bar in 2d but this time you can also do it in 3d now to do this let's just go back to scatter and then we had some, some values in here let's see we have okay we have a okay we don't have a new page so let's create a new page so new graph page and go to no and go to scatter now we can come in and go to 3d and then you can go with either mini z or x y and mini z so let's just go with let's say mini z and then we can choose our first z as our y1 and then we can also choose our second z as two and hit to finish now you have your bars in here so i think this this one is huge because i changed it for demonstration you can always go back to scatter and then change one of the values i think there is one that is off so yeah i changed this to one for demonstration let's change it back to zero and go back to the graph and now we have it all kind of leveled out and you can come in and just edit it in 3d as we've already done so just double click and bring this up let's go for let's say the fail and with this one you can change the color scheme let's go for let's say ocean and hit okay so every column so this is like column one column two you can add more columns 
and then you can add patterns to it and modify it as needed so it's quite the same as we've done but it's just columns it's just the bar chart and also a 3d so whatever that we had in bar chart and then also whatever that we've studied in 3d can be applied so you can add let's say a frame to the front you can change the colors and make this complete so this becomes like a well customized document so let's try something let's let's start with a frame let's go in for let's say red here and change the thickness a little bit and we can also make this let's say blue change the thickness a little bit and then you can rotate it for a different view if you need it to be so whichever view that you need it to be you can change it and change the perspective as well if you want to close by and yeah so all these can be played along for your demonstration and it's very useful